start the recording here. So US UK Air. This is a deck I threw together uh, a little while ago, but haven't yet tested out. At its core, it's a US mid-range deck that's using, um, that's leveraging Wildcat as kind of its pseudo guard slash, you know, just good, generally solid um, attacking unit. And I thought figured Patton along with the finest hours would be great with it and US is already strong top end bombers. And in addition to that, we're throwing in other reasonable British air cards like the the Rafe or the RAF Lightning here. P40, of course, from the US. I, I wanted to throw in the new Hurricanes, the 3-3 Fury plane from Britain, but I thought that was a little greedy um, in the face of all the aggro that's out there, so I threw in the Blackburns instead. And of course we have Albacores and just like 5th Brigade to actually survive and get to our bombers in the late game, so I don't know. I, I imagine this deck is going to be a dumpster fire, but we're going we're gonna to try some games with it on the ladder and see if we can finest our people... Uh, with our cards finest hour onto hellcat also an, also a nice little combo there i was thinking about throwing in that new well not new but the sort of recently buffed p38 that gives your plus damage to your bombers but the only bombers we really care about buffing um would be the albacore and blackburns that we play on curve and because our 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 Avengers and Flying Fortress don't really need the additional attack points, and I just figured that, that that wasn't enough cards that it was enabling, so I just decided that the 3 5 4k fighter wasn't worth it. But I'm sure there's a version of this deck that you could tweak and tune and make it so that the P38 is worth running. For those who aren't familiar, I'm, talk I'm referring to this card here. US 3 5, your bomber units have plus 2 attack. I think it could be could be okay in a British focused bomber deck that's splashing US cards for their bombers and for, for this. That could be something you wanna do. It's just that, you know, I don't think British air decks are, like that's a deck that's gonna want several, like that's gonna want the three swordfish at the bottom end and just swordfish is just so bad right now. Because there's just so many, so many things in the format that just hate on that card. Um, it's hard to justify making making British Air at the moment, I think. So anyway, let's jump into some games with this and see how we do. There's a good chance I just click that delete button at the end of this this next hour, but. You know, we we got to Field Marshal with all our nations now, so I don't really care about my ladder rank. The goal is to play a variety of uh, of different decks on stream each Friday from here on out. At least a couple every week. I think next week I have a couple decks lined up that I want to play. I could maybe maybe uh, could be convinced to play more, but I think cards is going to be slowing down a touch between now and the and next season. But we'll see. Death from above. Probably not. They're playing aggro. We definitely want to keep these two in hand. This is this is probably a touch better than death from above. That's not great, but you know, it is what it is. Gunship missions, also good. That's the other thing about this deck too. Are like if we can get the enemy low enough, our finest hour on a big plane can like get our opponents fairly close to death. Or I mean that can that can kill them out of nowhere too, but then on top of that we have we're running four gunship missions to burn burn uh, burn them out as well. And since we're playing a resistance player, that's most likely what these are going to be doing. They're, these are probably hitting face. That's unfortunate. Why is our opponent so mean? I think I just kill this so he just doesn't get the card draw. It's okay, we have an answer for that. Ooh, nah. We're gonna save that for a turn where we can reasonably use it alongside Patton, I think. Play one of these. We can do it, okay. The we, the we can do it, I'm not 
100% certain if, if I want them in the deck. It seemed like they, they would go well with, you know, our 5th Brigades and our, Black, and our, you know, British Bombers. But maybe they're just not worth running. Did I, have I tried Resistance? I tried Resistance the first day it was available. Uh, realized I, I hated it, and then I haven't played it since. <laughs> just because I'm just not a fan of the... I'm not a fan of the mechanic. I just think it's boring. I'd rather play... I'd rather play almost anything else. Discard my resistance. Thanks. For reference, I, I I think that 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 card is a fine card for the opponent to be playing. It's just it's just funny how that's what it hit. Maybe I'm supposed to just do this. It, I, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Hmm. That's gonna be a good good card as we get towards the end. But we'll see. Really want this to actually hit this because if he plays a sweeper, let's we'll see what happens. He'll probably have like Siren into triple Tora 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 or something. Because that's definitely how this match is going to go. Where are all your bad resistance cards? Just play those. Confirmed. So him moving this up tells me he doesn't have a clean answer to it. So I'm debating just throwing the, like bombing it and then throwing the airborne into it. It kind of sucks like we don't want to do it but and then do I play the Jasco now no I don't I save it for like when he's gonna go off with a bunch of last rights man 
Where are all our planes? Planes would be nice. We're probably not beating that Empire of the Sun. Something that I was talking about at the start of the stream when we were playing the other deck, but didn't get recorded because my mic was muted because I'm stupid. Um, Empire of the Sun is just really hard card to beat at, like right now. For, for mid-range and ramp decks like ours, it's just the single best piece of removal probably in the game um, currently. Just it takes these mid range, grindy mid range match matchups and just throws them straight in the trash. Because as you saw there, we were actually in a pretty good spot. And then our opponent refilled their hand and took away our best threat at the same time. And so it's like, what am I supposed to do against that? I guess we'll just pass here. Like, this game is quickly slipping out of our hands. I don't think we have a way to come back from our opponent drawing as many cards as they have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve. We can actually play everything. You could even just like two of the last manas here and it just doesn't matter. Let's just move along. I think we've lost this game at this point. Almost certain. If our opponent didn't have that Empire of the Sun turn, we might have had a... Oops, it's on this page. We might have had a, a, a more interesting game, but the game was pretty much over as soon as he played that. We might not play this one for very long. If, if, uh, if our matches are going the way that that last one went, we might just call it early move on to the next game for the day. How fast do we think our opponent's deck is going to be? Do we want this Jasko? I mean, even if they're tokens, it doesn't really help, so... I think we can toss it back. Tokens is not very popular right now, in my experience. I haven't played a token deck in I don't even know how long. I don't, I don't even think I've played a do token deck this season. Last, Even last season, I don't think. Hmm, 
I throw that oh if I throw that at that then we don't have a nice clean answer to cat Yusha. If I put this out, he could just play cat Yusha. I guess we could do this. Maybe he spends four resources shooting our face next turn. I guess we we did just draw this, so eventually gonna be good. That's also a cat Yusha answer. Could go pin this. Gunship mission that. Then what? We don't really have a nice clean way of dealing with that. This is not great because now you can just eat both of our things and neither of them take damage, which sucks. But it takes away a turn from him. That's actually the better of the two targets because our TBF can kill this. That's really good for us. Hmm. <laughs> no, but if I do that, then the Avengers never killing that. Uh, yeah, I think we just have to Avenger here and, and pray a little bit. So that kills both of those. Alternatively, we could Blackburn this, bomb this, air defense, but then if he finds a way to take this off the table, we don't we can't kill that. So I think we're just supposed to do that. I'm assuming he can finish this off this turn. The way he played his last turn makes me think that's certainly the case. cards here. That doesn't do anything, sadly. Oh, my. That's not what I expected him to do. So close. We can deal two to this and then deal two to that, but this can can get around the ambush of this card still, which is unfortunate. So 
So, yeah. Maybe because of that, we're supposed to hit this one twice. So then this is forced into this and he can't come over and kill our bomber. I think this deck's biggest weakness is its lack of card draw. That's become that's becoming apparent. To counteract all of the um, the discard and draw denial and the card advantage of other decks. We'll play one more match with it and then we'll review and like tweak it maybe and then see what else we want to do. It's probably not a card we're going to need. This is also an awkward card right now. Doesn't kill any of anything relevant usually. Like the decks that are using the Japanese cards to get aggressive have either three toughness or they draw you a card when you hit them. So or they or they're running they're also running the Gebergs Jaeger but can't be targeted at all. So Awoken Giant's pretty in a pretty rough spot right now. We wanted more card advantage. There's a chance these could just be mobilized. Anyway. We have a few options here. Hmm. Once again, probably should have put this on the other side so he didn't have the ability to attack this. Not that I imagine he would, but... If he wants, we can throw this into here and try to get lucky with the Cat Yusha. But maybe we're okay with that in, with a hand with two gunship mission. Okay, so instead he's gonna try to, he's getting, he's trying to get lucky that way. For sure. We have another one.
Good old hammer. This card has been wrecking us today. I don't like playing decks that don't have flampons or in them anymore. <laughs> Next, next week we might just be playing 100% decks that have German cards in them. Just so sick of these. Uh... Yeah. Anyway. So good against everything we want to do. Of course, he has her all factories. It's like every time we try to play a deck like this, we're getting wrecked like by like just these random cards. What is with the Ural factories decks today? Yeah, and, and I just realized, yeah, they are playing Japan, so you know that there's Empire of the Sun in their deck, too. So, yeah, I, I think I'm done with this this deck. There's just no point in trying to mid-range people in a format um, with Empire of the Suns, unless you're also running Empire of the Sun. <laughs> <laughs> 